guys, welcome to Tech Talk. I'm here with Sean, um, who's got his very own model of the Seacat 565, and he's going to go through that with us today. Yeah, we're going to go through the forward console today, um, the 565 forward console. You've got the center console, you know how it rides, so I don't need to talk too much about how it sure. rides. So what I thought I'd do today is show the folks what's on the inside, not what's on the outside. When we designed the 565 forward console, we uh, designed it around the skipper because the skipper's job nine times out of ten is to make sure that his crew get onto the fish. The, um, the set of drawers that we have on the left hand side here was designed for obviously to keep a whole lot of his um, waypoints or whatever it is that he wanted to keep as well as tackle, um, terminal tackle, whatever he wanted to put into those drawers. Um, and then what we also designed was obviously a nice big um, cubby hole and nine times out of ten we end up fitting the radios on the inside of the cubby hole so that they stay dry and so forth. And then two nice big cupboards to get into into the, the forward into the forward console itself. And um, you know there's there's so much space in there that um, my son who's 14 years old can sleep quite comfortably on the inside of the forward console. Then the dashboard, when we designed the dashboard, we designed it to basically hide or, or cover your instrumentation. Instrumentation is expensive these days and we try and keep it as dry as possible. In the 565 forward console range, we've got two different models, or two different top deck models. And uh, the first one is the walkthrough, which I currently have. And that basically means that the, the center of the windscreen is drawn out to allow access to the anchor hatch, with the step being just below your draw set. We also have a, what we call a walk around version, which is, um, the console is a little bit narrower, and it allows you to walk around the console. Our live boat well on the 565 is about 65 litres and it will take plenty, plenty live boats. It, it drains through the bottom of the hole and then is obviously pumped through by a, a pump, a normal live bait well pump system. Right, the battery boxes, we've increased the size of them because a lot of the guys in the newer, the newer instrumentation demands a lot of power. So we've increased the size of the battery boxes now to, to take 100, 110 amp hour batteries. The fish, fish hatches on the 565 are exactly the same as the fish hatches on our 465, our 510. Um, the size doesn't change. It, we use the same box throughout our range. But what we have here is the petrol hatch, guys. And um, the petrol hatch on the 565 is, um, takes three cans aside. So it allows you six cans, six cans on the boat, six full cans. They under deck, which gives us a better balance point, And they're quite far, far, far forward which uh, also helps with trimming the boat. Obviously the two-stroke range here will start at 70 horsepower and we'll go all the way up to 90 horsepower in our two-stroke range. And then in our four-stroke range, we'll start as low as 60. 60 horsepower, two, uh, four strokes, work perfectly well on this boat. And then we'll go all the way up to our F100, our big F100 that uh, we have fitted to this boat. Um, and yeah, it goes well. So thank you very much once again. Thanks,